Four. You said? There's actually only three involuntary chairs, because if Tony Lewis had been asked, he probably would have said yes. <laughs> <laughs> so we have um, a, a different Boston bid that's not nearly as colorful. <laughs> Sorry. Or as fake. Or as blinky. Or as fake. Well, did you say fake? I said fake. You did say fake. <laughs> And, uh, and there, the Boston in 2021 bid is represented by Rick Kowalczyk. You don't need to applaud them when they get up here. So I'm Rick Kowalczyk, I am the chair of MCFI, and I've been asked to form an exploratory committee to look into the Boston bid. So at this point, we are just an exploratory committee. Some of you may have seen parts of this presentation at uh, Worldcon, however, Pleasantly, there are a lot more people here than were present, I believe, at the Inquisition at Worldcon, and there is some more information. So, and plus, I just can't wait for the wonderful Q&A afterwards. Uh, so, as I said, an exploratory committee. Uh, we're looking at dates in mid to late August. Uh, preliminary planning stage. We're looking at the facilities. Uh, the, primarily in Boston, the Hines and the BCEC with the associated hotels. And um, we're also looking at Providence as a backup only. Uh, and we're also starting to involve local resources. Uh, Boston has a, a strong Spanish tradition of a number of groups. Bosco, Nets um, Bosco, and Arisha, Khan, Anime Boston. And uh, we're starting reaching out to all those groups. Uh, the, these are some of the uh, most <coughs> probable dates in Boston. Uh, it looks... Uh, there's a slight, uh, looks slightly more probable for the Hines than the DCEC for a number of reasons. Seems to work both better for them and for us, but it's really very preliminary. Uh, Providence, uh, we hope to have more information in Q1, if that's even an option. So you ask why Boston? Why Boston? Boston is family friendly. And also, uh, I'd like to state something here that was sort of asked of the um, SmothCon bid. Um, our governor is not a fan of uh, some, he will not be named. And um, Massachusetts has a number of uh, sanctuary cities. Uh, so really, it's probably the uh, most, um, one of the more progressive places in the country. So family friendly. Many historic sites. So that's what Boston looks like inside. <laughs> Uh, as I said, there's a strong fan, fan community, uh, and there have been four previous World Cons. Uh, you know, as I've mentioned all this before, PAX East also uh, is another local convention. And, uh, you know, it's not, uh, it, it will be about 80 degrees in, in August. Uh, it, the venue is all inside if we go with the uh, you know, Hines Sheridan uh, Marriott Center. Uh, but it won't snow. <laughs> Thank you, Rick. I will note that Boston, Massachusetts has experienced snow in 11 of the 12 months, and the only month it has not snowed is August. <laughs> so, you have a good Wait, has it actually snowed in July before? It has. Wow. Actually, if you, if you want to know all about that, look up the year of no summer. Wow! <laughs> it was pretty frightening globally, actually, especially not in Europe. So, um, we have a, a bunch of possible questions. Um, Given the issues of hotel pricing that, that are coming up with uh, some of the upcoming world funds, do you have any sense of what you can tell us about your rates? Uh, it's really too early. Obviously, we're trying to get as low as possible. And obviously, uh, one of the reasons we're looking at Providence is a bargaining chip. I see. I see. Uh, so, yeah, that would be Providence Boston. Greater Boston area. Greater Boston area. Um, why Boston? What, what makes you want to do it this year, this time? You know, what, what do you believe you know, drives you for this? Um, it's been a number of years since it's been a world con in the Northeast. 
There are a lot of people who have been born since the last World Con in the Northeast, and I think it's time to uh, give the people in the Northeast a uh, chance to experience World Con and get them into the World Con tradition and get them convinced them to go to World Con in other places. Oh, somebody, so crazy. somebody has an interesting question. The dates that you posted looked to be for just four days. Was that a oops -o? I think that was an oops -o. Okay. <coughs> Sorry about that. Do you plan on a, on a traditional five day yeah, we plan on a traditional five day <laughs> What's the local fan base in your area like in terms of um, how integrated they would be with MCFI? We've been working very hard on that. I think I'm one of the people who's been working most hard on that. And we, uh, Rija and uh, Nesca have been working most closely together. Uh, and uh, both uh, Nesca and uh, Rija have put support into this, into this uh, exploratory committee already and to the work MCFI is doing. And uh, we've reached out to people in ReaderCon. Actually, one of the people from ReaderCon is uh, helping very much with our uh, search. And, uh, you know, we have more work to do, but we're working uh, very, we're trying to work as closely together as possible. When you anticipate being able to make a, a firm decision on what you're doing? Um, in the next, uh, the next six to seven months. And do you have any sense of who would chair the convention if it, if it were held? Or is, Not it, at is all. it too early to make that decision? <laughs> Uh, so what is the one thing that you would want uh, Boston in 2021 World Cup to be remembered for? Your breakfast rolls. James <laughs> 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 Bacon actually said it. Uh, Boston has a tradition of having great World Cons. We've done a, a lot of innovative things from first night and uh, just building on that and being a great World Con. Oh, how would you describe the most impressive aspect of your bid? <laughs> We're very diverse. We have, um, you know, we have both young people and, and older people, and um, from all walks of life, and um, integrating everything. Yeah. Okay. I think that's good. Thank you. If, if, uh,